Hey everyone, welcome to Reading the Bible to Cats. Henry? Oh no. Henry was so like relaxed and ready to listen, but now he's, um, I think he's preoccupied. So I don't know how long we'll have Henry here listening to the Bible. Um, I think we're on Numbers 34. So we will just pick up there. I'm holding the microphone really far away because it's so, I think it's pretty sensitive, the mic. Um, okay, well, let's just jump in while I have the kitties here. The kitty here. Unfortunately, you're getting a little bit of a view of the litter boxes in the background. <laughs> and a vacuum. Okay, well, let's just jump in. Henry, can you just turn around and face the people? We want to see your beautiful eyes. Look at your beautiful eyes, Henry. You're so pretty. Oh, somebody ha somebody else has something to say. And it's Guster. Look how pretty you are. Okay. Hopefully this won't fall. I'm going to set the microphone down and hopefully it'll pick everything up. I hope this isn't a mic fail. <laughs> okay, well, let's just read. You ready, Henry? Okay. Numbers 34. The Lord said to Moses, Command the Israelites and say to them, When you enter Canaan, the land that will be allotted to you as an inheritance is to have these boundaries. Oh, sorry, I misread that. Let me say that over. When you enter Canaan, the land that will be allotted to you as an inheritance is to have these boundaries. Your southern side will include some of the desert of Zin along the border of Edom. Your southern boundary will start in the east from the southern end of the Dead Sea Cross south of Scorp Scorpion Pass, continue on to Zin, and go south of Kadesh Barnea. Then it will be, sorry, then it will go to Hazar Adar and over to Asmon, where it will turn, join the Wadi of Egypt, and end at the Mediterranean Sea. Your western boundary will be the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. This will be your boundary on the west. For your northern boundary, run a line from the Mediterranean Sea to Mount Hor, and from Mount Hor to Libo Hamath. Then the boundary will go to Zadad, continue to Zephron, and end at Hezar Anan. This will be your boundary on the north. Um, sorry, that's me talking at the bottom. Okay, lie down, guess what? Uh oh. We've got a little altercation here. Somebody's jealous, and I think it's Guster. Okay, let's get back to the Bible, Guster. No, no biting. Okay. Take two. Um, for your eastern boundary, run a line from Hazar and on to, to Shepham. The boundary will go down from Shepham to Ribla on the east side of Ain and continue along the slopes east of the Sea of Galilee. Then the boundary will go down along the Jordan and end at the Dead Sea. This will be your land with its boundaries on every side. Moses commanded the Israelites, assign this land by lot as an inheritance. The Lord has ordered that it be given to the nine and a half tribes because the families of the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. These two and a half tribes have received their inheritance east of the Jordan across from Jericho toward the sunrise. The Lord said to Moses, these are the names of the men you are to assign the land for you as an inheritance. Eleazar the priest and Joshua, son of Nun, 
and appoint one leader from each tribe to help assign the land. These are their names. Caleb, son of Jephunneh, from the tribe of Judah. Jemuel, son of Amahud, from the tribe of Simeon. Eladad, son of Kislon, from the tribe of Benjamin. Buki, son of Jogli, the leader from the tribe of Dan. Anil, son of Ephod, the leader from the tribe of Manassas, Manasseh, son of Joseph. Kemuel, son of Shiphtan, the leader from the tribe of Ephraim, son of Joseph. Elizaphan, son of Parnach, leader of, from the tribe of Zebulun. Peltiel, son of Azon, the leader from the tribe of Issachar. Ahuahad, son of Shalomi, the leader from the tribe of Asher. Bedahel, son of Amahud, the leader from the tribe of Nephtali. These are the men the Lord commanded to assign the inheritance to the Israelites in the land of Galilee. I'm sorry, that I misspoke. Pardon me, that's me talking, not the Bible. It is I who is speaking, not the Bible. <laughs> that's probably more gra grammatically correct. Um, let me take that verse again, verse 29. These are the men the Lord commanded to assign the inheritance to the Israelites in the land of Canaan. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that really speaks for itself. You know, those are the boundaries of the promised land, the land that God promised to the um, to the tribes, to Israel. Um, it's interesting. You know, I, I'm sure I was massacring each and every name. <laughs> it, it is really like another language. I mean, it is another language, so it's like I can't. They're interesting names, though. Some we're very familiar with, of course, and some, you know, we, you know, don't naturally fall off the tongue so easily, but um, but yeah, those are the boundaries. And if I had like a um, a mind that could grasp the geography, <laughs> I could tell you where those boundaries are but I really, my my second brain is literally GPS so if if it weren't for GPS I would be driving around in circles all day but yeah so anyway I'm sure one of you listening can um, map out the boundaries and they you know they have been mapped out we can always look it up do a search, but yeah, the it's the the boundaries of the promised land. Well, looks like Henny is falling asleep. Henny, Henny, if I say your the name of your favorite toy, are you gonna wake up? Bug, where's Bug? Yeah, but he's so tired, he can't even rise to the occasion of bug well let's say a prayer i'm back from my weekend trip and it was really good to be with my um my best friend and it was a really nice weekend and the kitties kitties are happy i'm back and i'm happy to see them and happy to well, I guess I don't see you all, but I do <laughs> feel your presence. So thanks for being there, here, wherever you are. And let me say a prayer for you. It is, now, what's today? Today is Monday, and I'll post this on Tuesday. I'll just say a prayer. Lord, um, thank, thank you for your promises. And yes, you, you promised the land, Lord, and that's important, obviously, <laughs> to you and to the children of Israel and to everyone, really, because you keep your promises. 
and we know um, it's all throughout your word that you keep your promises not only to Israel but to every everyone who turns to you in every nation whoever whoever calls on you you will you will you will make good on your promises to them too And I ask that you help me trust in your promises because, you know, I, I believe, but as you know, there are areas that are, are weak in my faith. And I ask that you strengthen my faith and increase my faith. Lord, we pray for the, I mean, we just read about the boundaries of the land and what you promised to Israel. So we lift up Israel today in 2024. <laughs> so many hundreds and hundreds, thousands of years later, we lift up Israel to you and pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for the peace of Israel, and for healing, Lord. We know that only you can bring that healing and peace and shalom to the people who are hurting there. Pray also for all the suffering in Gaza, that you reveal yourself to them too, as I, I'm confident you're doing. And for the nations, Lord, our world that you've given us and all the creatures in it, we long for the day when you will return and Jesus will return and make things right. And we pray for your kingdom to come and your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray for my YouTube friends that um, you would bless them. And... Bring them joy and peace and love and bless their lives and their families and their just them, bless them. And I pray for the same Lord. Give us, give me rest tonight because it's evening for me. It's almost bedtime, so I pray you give me rest. And I pray that if it's people are going to sleep after listening to this, that you give them sweet rest. Or if it's the morning, that you give them a great day. Or if it's the afternoon, that you would um, give them all the energy they need to get through their day and have joy in their day. And we thank you for all your blessings and for all your creatures that you've made that we that we love. Like Henry and Guster. All the little creatures. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody. Amen. Henry, are you going to... Henry? Henry, can you look up? Any, any, where's Bug? <laughs> I'm, I can't help it. I have to say the name of Mr. Where's Bug? Are you too tired to play with Bug? Are you going to, okay, you're too tired. Well, go to sleep and dream about Bug. <laughs> Good night, Henry. He's so cute. So cute. I can't tear the camera away when he's that cute. And Guster, you're so cute, too. Sorry for my kitty voice. I can't help it. But if you all have cats and have kitty voices, let me know. It's funny. I remember, I can't remember the friend. I may have had a couple of friends like this where 
you know, you go over to their house and whether it's their cat or their dog, I, I can't remember specifically, but I remember when they talked to their pet, it was like in a completely normal voice. <laughs> and I was like astonished because they were just talking normally, like not in a kitty voice. Or, you know, a doggy voice, I guess. It was... I, I, th I think I talk normally to them, too. But I do slip into the kitty voice more often than not. But it, but this person didn't have a kitty voice at all. Or a doggy voice. It was just like... It would be like... Um, Henry, are you ready for bedtime? Well, I hope you sleep well. And I will see you in the morning, okay? And perhaps we'll play with Bug. Good night. I mean, there was no... <laughs> that's what it would be like, you know? It wasn't like, Henny, are you going to look for Bug in the morning? Can you wake up, Penny? Henny, are you dreaming? You know, it wasn't like that at <laughs> Henry probably thinks I'm crazy and maybe you all do too but Henny I see your eye opening you respond to the kitty voice more than the normal voice you know if I if I just talk normally he's not going to really respond Henry would you like to play with Bug right now yeah he doesn't respond to that where is Bug Henry can you get Bug but if I use my kitty voice Where's Bug? Can you find Bug? <laughs> okay, you guys, I think I have to go to bed. <laughs> Poor Henry is so tired. Go to sleep, Henny. Close your eyes. Go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Love you. Go to sleep. Love you. Good night. Good night. Close your eyes.